It's a motivational Monday here on Living 808s. And who better than to get us going than our friend Aline Shabazz, who's joining us today for another edition of 808 Style. Aline, good to see you. Mikey, good to see you as well. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. You're fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. So do you. Thank I got to look you. like you. Um, and you guys, today's topic, this is really interesting because we're talking about belly fat. Yes. All right. So Aline, I got to ask you, you know, can we really lose belly fat by targeting specific areas? Great question, Mikey. And we get that a lot. So th the short answer is no. It's really hard to target specific areas. And everyone's kind of different as far as their genetics and so forth. Right. In general, the last place to go for fat for men is our stomach, call it the spare tire. Okay. And for women in general, it's their hips. But what you generally want to do is kind of a compound exercise or a whole body exercise okay. and just let your own genetics take its course as far as eating healthy, consistent exercise right. and letting the fat come off where it needs to come off. Right, right, right. You know, let, let's piggyback on the topic of eating because we showcase a ton of great restaurants here on Living in Away and we tell a lot of our viewers to go out there. Um, and we also love eating here. So can we out exercise a bad diet though? Like, Great question. Okay. They said you can't out work a bad diet, which is true. And they okay. say that abs are made in the kitchen. So a lot of people will say, hey, I'm doing crunches for nonstop okay. and I don't see my abs. Well, your abs are there. They're just hidden under a layer of fat. So yeah. dial it in in the kitchen and yeah. be consistent in the gym and you'll slowly start to see those abs appear. So. You know what? It's funny. Ever since my competition, I don't really have the abs. I mean, they're there, but I'm like, if you just feel it, I swear they're there. <laughs> um, okay. Well, well, speaking of exercise, you guys, Aline, he's here to show us a, a quick little demonstration. Yep. Um, could you break it down for us? What are we doing? Absolutely. Today? So we're going to do a core exercise called a back flutter kick. Okay. And a lot of times people have bad backs. So we don't really uh, advise people doing crunches or sit-ups that can actually aggravate the back. Okay. And so I'm just going to show you a quick way if you have a bad back or you want to have a strong core. Okay. And you simply lay on the floor like this. Oh, okay. And you're going to just flutter kick, keep your legs straight, and you're going to feel it in your transverse abdominis as well as your uh, abs as well. Yeah. And just go for a little bit. When you get tired, you can rest and then do it again. You know That's what? That's it. I've, I've done this a, yeah. a few times. Uh, so believe it or not, you guys, I actually did some MMA classes a couple years ago. Nice. But we used to do a lot of that, and instantly, yeah. your core gets engaged. Yep, starts firing immediately. So. And you said that's good for those who have bad backs. It's good for everybody, okay. but especially with people with bad backs, maybe a bad L3, L4, then okay. just practice that. Be safe, kick your legs, okay. and just keep them about six inches off the ground, and that'll engage your core just as good or even better than doing a crunch or a sit-up. Okay, well, good to yeah. know. Um, you know, there's something else that, you know, we tend to do as exercise wise, if we're trying to target belly fat. Now that's crunches and sit-ups. Yes. Your thoughts on those? Yeah, same thing like we just talked about. Crunches and sit-ups won't get you abs because it's actually not gonna burn your fat, but it's good for core strength, stability, working your midsection, and really just kind of enhancing the fact that you're already eating well and going to the gym consistently, so. Okay, well, we're looking at you. You, you, you have, you know, literally 100 abs on you um, and no <laughs> belly fat, but is belly fat the easiest to lose? It's, it's actually a misconception. It's not the easiest to lose. Okay. Um, it really depends on your genetics. Everybody is different. And so we've got two types of fat in our, in our belly. Okay. We have what's called subcutaneous fat. So when you pinch your skin, that's what you feel. That's your fat right under your skin. Right. But then we have that visceral fat, which is around your organs. That's the one that you can't see as much, but can be a little bit more dangerous because it locks in stuff around your organs and stuff like that. Right. So the, um, the, the visceral fat, the good thing is that that generally tends to be the one that gets burned first. Oh, okay, so. okay. Now. Belly fat, is all of it bad for us? Yeah, not all of it's bad. Not believe all it, of it, right? Yeah, okay. believe it or not, your body actually does need fat. You know, it acts as a storage for energy and so forth. So you do need fat to function and stuff like that as well. Excess fat can be detrimental in a couple of different ways. But the subcutaneous fat, like we just talked about, that's right underneath your skin, tends to be a little less dangerous than that visceral fat that's around our organs. Okay. All yeah. right, you guys. Well, there you guys have it. A lot of fun facts about yes. fat. And if anybody wanted to learn more information about you for Fitness uh, Fathers Hawaii, for Fathers Fitness Hawaii, how yeah. can they log on? Log on to Absolutely. You? Forefathersfitness.com. You can check us out. And I'm offering all the Living 808 viewers a free uh, fat calculator as well as a free cal calorie calculator on forefathersfitness.com and you can follow us on social media at at forefathersfitness and at big tire boot camp awesome aleem gray seeing you always a thank pleasure thank you for Mikey. all the fun tips uh kelly i'm going to toss it over to you friend Awesome. Thanks so much, you guys. And as you're getting your summer bodies ready, as you're working out, especially if you go to the 
entire boot camp, it is sunny out there. So make sure you're protecting your skin, wearing a lot of sunscreen. But today we are talking more Neutrogena products. Now this week, Neutrogena product of the week is the Hydro Boost Gel Cream. Now this pair that you can see right here, it helps keep your skin hydrated. The Hydro Boost Daily Gel Cream Exfoliating Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid gently exfoliates and boosts hydration for instantly soft, refreshed skin. It's a lightweight gel cream cleanser with naturally derived skin smoothers, which effectively removes dirt, oil, and dry skin, formulated with hyaluronic acid, and it's clinically proven to increase skin's hydration level and lock it in for instantly soft, supple, and refreshed skin. So perfect after that nice hot shower after you work out. All right, and then onto the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. That's this one right here. Now this one has hyaluronic acid for extra dry skin. Helps quench your extra dry skin with clinically proven factors and it gives 48 hour hydration for healthy glowing skin. Now, make sure you check them out. Again, you can find these Neutrogena products in stores. Very awesome. All right, now, coming up in just a little bit, so much more when Living 808 returns. 